Hello crypto fam thanks for tuning back to my channel in today's video we will discuss how to detect metamask wallet in browser and how to prompt user to install metamask if not already installed and finally how to connect with metamask wallet now in our upcoming videos we will talk about how to detect if user is on a different chain and how to prompt user to switch to a particular chain okay so grab a cup of tea as we are getting started now i'll be pulling up metamask docs and we'll be using metamask docs as a reference throughout this video and we'll be doing this tutorial in vanilla javascript so we will first talk about how to detect if metamask is running in our browser or not i have pulled up this metamask docs and as you can see if you want to verify whether metamask is running in our browser we can check if the type of window.ethereum is not undefined then metamask is installed so what metamask and other valid plugins will do is they will inject this ethereum object and will attach it to window object and if this is already there then you can certainly say that one of this ethereum compatible wallets is installed but this can be added by other ethereum compatible wallets as well so if you want to specifically check if metamask is installed you can check this attribute window.ethereum. Is MetaMask? If this is set to true, that means MetaMask is running in your browser. So previously, this attribute used to be Window.Web3, but later it was changed and renamed as Window.Ethereum to make it more compatible. So if you are using any Solana wallets like Phantom, you will see Window.Solana. So you have to check for Window.Solana in your code. Okay, so let's get back to our coding and we will first start with detecting MetaMask. Okay, so I'll give you the GitHub link into the description. You can go and check it out. I have created a bunch of other files that also we will need to run our program. Like I have created a server.js file which will help us serve our static assets and our index.html file. And then I have also created an index.html file where we'll be loading up our index.js file. So this is going to be our main code logic that I'll walk you through today. So this is empty and we will build it up as we go. But all these files will get it in the GitHub link because they are not really necessary right now for us to understand how do we integrate with MetaMask. Okay, once you clone this repo, you just have to run NPMI so that you can install all the modules. And I would quickly like to tell you about this MetaMask onboarding.bundle.js file. So I have actually moved this on this dist folder so that we can load it up and use in our program. This file you'll usually get when you install this MetaMask onboarding package and inside this dist folder you can have this file. So I just copied this file and moved it to dist folder. Okay, so right now I'll be running this program and I'll be showing you what exactly we have right now. So I'll run node, server.js. Now I'll be navigating to local host 3000 and we can see there is a connect valid button right now. So this is all we have got right now. If you click on this button, nothing happens in the networks. Also, you can check that once you click on it, nothing is happening right now. It's just a button that we have created right now. Okay, now we'll add some functionalities. First thing is we will try to check whether MetaMask is installed or not. So for this, I will actually uninstall this MetaMask in my browser so that first we can go through that use case. Okay, so I have uninstalled MetaMask now. And there is a simple tutorial on MetaMask talks. You can get it from here in resources. And I'll be also referring to that to use, how do we use MetaMask onboarding package and other things. So first of all, what they do is, as soon as the DOM is loaded, they call this initialize function. So I'll also be using this template and then I'll fill up my initialize function. So let's copy this and our program is running on 3000. This forwarder, origin is usually useful when you want to test it locally that's what we are doing right now okay now first thing that we will do is we will actually create a function called onboard metamask client onboard meta is going to be an async function because we will as we build it up we will be when we connect our MetaMask client, we'll be actually calling Web3 functions where we need to await because those are all async functions. Now let's say here we'll be making a check. If not of is MetaMask installed, I'll be writing this function in just a bit. Right now I'm just writing, just think is like some pseudo code. So if MetaMask is not installed, we need to prompt the user to install it 
else for now we'll just log metamask is installed hooray okay and here we'll install we'll just log for now that metamask is not installed metamask is not installed okay i'll be using semicolons throughout now we'll create our function is metamask install and inside it we'll actually let's create this ethereum object because anyway we will need it in other functions as well so we'll create here ethereum equals window and we are extracting this ethereum object from window and right now here what we'll do is return ethereum and ethereum dot is meta mask so right now we saw in the docs i'll show you once again that if you want to check specifically if metamask is available we have to check it in server.ethereum.is.metamask since they are using metamask m capital i am also going to follow that convention and use metamask with m capital so that we maintain consistency okay okay right now we'll run it and we'll see it should print one of these either metamask is installed or metamask is not installed okay i'm gonna go to console and i'm gonna run it okay nothing is getting printed i need to go back and check okay we are not at all calling our onboard metamask client and that's the reason let me make a call to it yes and we get, we could have also used node mon for this so that it automatically reloads your it automatically reloads once you change anything and you don't have to like keep on restarting like i am doing right now okay it says metamask is not installed so it's correctly accurately detecting that it doesn't have this ethereum already injected inside it so now first thing that will follow is we need to prompt the user to install metamask so that's what we are going to do right now now one more thing that i would like to have for here to be available to all other functions is the connect button so that we can actually call several other functions when when on click action happens on it so i'll do is document dot get element by id and the id of the button is let me check it quickly it's connect valid okay now we have got a reference for this connect button now what i'll be doing is if metamask is not installed after logging it i'm going to say is connect button dot on click equals install meta mask okay and i'm going to write another function which will be const install meta mask now here is where we'll be using the meta mask onboarding package that we just installed with npm install meta mask slash onboarding let me quickly show you this package as well meta mask onboarding so you can see this is the package that you can use and these are the different ways you can include in your program i'm using this that which is available the bundle file which is available inside the test folder okay we'll be using this new meta mask onboarding 
we'll be using this constructor and then we'll be calling this start onboarding and other functionalities on this object you can see it actually has some other really nice functionalities like is metamask installed which is already going to detect it for you whether the metamask provider is detected or not so here i'll be creating a variable onboarding equals new meta mask onboarding and we'll be passing a forwarder origin as i already told you this is usually for testing purpose if you see override the forwarder url useful for testing so i'm gonna be passing here forwarder origin and we'll also set it to installation in progress okay one more thing that we can do in our program is we can change the value of this button for user to depict that metamask is not installed and it should actually be click here to install metamask the value should change from connect button to click here to install metamask okay hmm. Now we'll move the value to installation in progress. We'll also disable this button until installation is complete. Great. Now we'll be calling this onboarding dot start onboarding function from MetaMask onboarding module. Okay, it looks good to me. Install MetaMask. And yeah, looks good. Let's let's restart our server and see what happens. It says MetaMask is not installed, but ideally uh, here the value should have changed, but it didn't. Let me see what happens. MetaMask onboarding is not defined. I think there is some typo. Let me check. Looks correct to me. Then this is incorrect. I'm just going to copy it from the docs right now. Start onboarding. Okay, it's happening. Once we clicked on connect wallet, it is actually opening this. So this part is working where once we click on connect wallet, it is actually coming to this MetaMask extension page where we can download MetaMask. And you can see it's legit page. It has 2745 ratings. And also this library is itself provided by MetaMask. So we can be rest assured that they will be linking us to proper URLs and there will be no scamming. But you should always double check before installing metamask in any case hmm. the only thing that was an issue was this connect wallet value is not changing i need to check what's the issue okay this value attribute is incorrect and let me quickly change it yeah now we are getting it correct and we'll click here click here to install metamask we are going to click and until we install it it will say installation in progress so let's add it to groom i'm gonna be adding it okay get started so thanks create a wallet i'll be creating some password I have read create okay next and I'll say remind me later okay well it got created and 
if I reload this page, it should now say MetaMask is installed. Yes, MetaMask is installed. And now even you see the text is changed to connect valid. So yes, we have properly installed and this flow is completely correct. Now let us get back to the flow where we will actually now connect our valid. Now connecting to MetaMask will efficiently mean that we access the user's accounts. So as soon as we try to do that, MetaMask pop-up will appear and it will actually ask you to connect and give permissions for this website, essentially MetaMask to be able to view your accounts. So that's what we will be doing now. So in our else flow where we detect that MetaMask is installed, we will actually call connect button dot on on click equals connect metamask now i'll be doing writing the description over here const connect metamask and tell me folks whether this is going to be a sync function or not and the answer is yes it's going to be an async function because we'll be making a call to get users ethereum accounts okay now connect button dot disabled equals true will again disable the button until we retrieve its accounts and then we're gonna be making a call cost accounts equals await ethereum dot request so this is all mentioned in metamask talks this is the method we can call to request user accounts and then we'll say connect button dot value equals connected <coughs> connected okay once we get users account we'll also try to log the accounts that we have got accounts okay then connect button dot disabled equals false okay now we are good and we'll also catch any error error occurred while connecting Meta mask. Okay, great. Looks like our flow looks complete. And we'll run it and we'll check. In here also, I would like to maintain the consistency in MetaMask name. Okay, I'm not sure why exactly it asked us to directly connect MetaMask. So let me cancel it and let me check what the issue is. This should not happen. It should actually happen once we click on the button. So I am not sure what is happening. Let me check it once again. Okay, folks, the issue is I am making a call to this function here and that's why I am stunned. Why? Even if I'm not clicking, why the function is getting called? Okay, so now this should fix it. Okay, MetaMask is installed. Hooray, let's click on Connect Wallet. Hmm, the MetaMask pop-up is now appearing and now I'm going to give it permissions. I'm going to click Next. So MetaMask is saying see address, account balance, activity and such as transactions to approve. So I'm going to click on connect. 
and voila our metamask is connected and then it has also retrieved our accounts as you can see this is our account address if i click on metamask extension let me check let me pin it here yeah you can see this is the one if i copy it and if i try to enter it here you can see this is our account so yeah so that is it for this video folks hope you all understood how to connect your wallet how to detect if metamask is already running in your browser and if not how to prompt user to install it once the user install it how to detect that it is already installed and then connect it so that is it for this video in our upcoming video we'll also explore other things like how do you prompt user to switch the chain how do you send users some notification and all other stuff in our upcoming videos so stay tuned and let me know in the comments how did you like this video subscribe to this channel hit the like button and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye